Welcome, welcome, my friends. I'm gonna do a Tiki Tuesday underneath my little Tiki thatch trees, as they say. So, let's see how it goes today. Um, I think this is the first time on my YouTube channel I've ever done videos three days in a row. <laughs> so, but they've been kind of short and sweet and sassy. So, let's see what the what the Tiki boys have to say today, okay? And then, um, uh, if you're new to this little segment, um, on Tuesdays, I like to pull all these Tiki fortune, or Chinese fortunes I've, I've, uh, collected throughout the years, and I put them in my mugs here. And, okay, let's see, we gotta, oh, hold on, we gotta make sure that we have an empty one, okay? So... I'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll deliver the message. And then we'll pick one from the um, dolphin, which, oh, let's see, what does it say there? Surprise! Okay. Well, we'll, we'll hunt for one ourselves, but surprise is nice, huh? Okay, so let's see, and we'll start here. Okay, and I'll turn my face so I don't see what's going <coughs> Excuse me. So I don't see what's going on. Okay, I think I pulled out one. Let's see. Oh, I know it's like that. Uh, I wish the clarity came out a little. Enjoy each moment. Happiness is now. That's nice, huh? Oh, there we go. Oh, the camera did zoom in on its own. How sweet. Enjoy each moment. Happiness is now. Well, we like that one, right? It's like that Archangel Michael. Um... Uh, card uh, decide to be happy now and I always remember that card because that was one of the first cards that came through when I did my first reading ever that one and use your imagination and you'll see the answer was another one okay what do we got here we got the birdie singing in the back oh, I gotta tell you I I bought some bird I wear I I just bought a bird little bell to hang in one of the trees around the corner here. I'm trying to fix all this area up. And uh, and anyway, a, a squirrel came in. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was coming, but it wasn't even 24 hours, and that squirrel had it down and in his <laughs> in his little hands. Okay, ride with the waves. Smooth sea lies ahead. Ah, oh, wow. I don't even think, I mean, can you imagine if you think, I, I can't remember what I did yesterday, but some of these messages I remember because they come through, repeat, repeat. But uh, ride with the waves, smooth sea lies ahead. I, I really don't recall that one. And I love it, you know, for that mermaid vibe, no doubt. Okay, we're going to stick it in here. So let's go to the third cup. Okay. All right. What's this? Oh, I have a little stone in here. Oh, that's fun. Don't you love when you find stuff, people? My goodness, I'm trying to figure out really what is this stone. I don't think it's a citrine. Hmm. Wow, that's funny. I don't know, but we'll put it in my little crystal tray right there. Someone can, uh knows what that is from from eyesight can you hit me up please because i'm now curious i i'm i don't even recall that little stone personally okay you are capable competent creative and careful well that's a good position to be right capable competent creative and and careful means you know you don't you don't go looking for problems is what that means Okay, let's go to number four. The fourth Tiki God says, Your wish will be granted next year. Woohoo! And you know, I had this one once before because you can see I taped that one because <laughs> I said, Yeah! <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, people, the Tiki Gods make me happy, is all I can say. Okay, but for all of us, uh, I just did a reading yesterday to close out the month then because in this move I couldn't deliver a, 
a month and a video for March in the beginning and I missed out on the Virgo full moon which Virgo is my moon sign so anyway um, it, w it just came out really sharp really nice it's about going through portals and we got to walk through those doors and and you know and it's always about being that patient so let's see what happens with that okay and this will be the last pick and then we'll pick one final one and see what the message will be you are headed in the right direction woohoo people well wow we had some uh we had some good stuff today right some kind of powerful but but uh potential no problem kind of things to do ah your wish will be granted next year <laughs> You can tell I gravitated some out of this one. Okay. Really cool. Really cool. All right. Well, let's see what kind of wish. Already we see that um, the dolphins had a little card that came out with surprise. So, you know, your wish will be granted next year. So whatever you're putting forward, a uh, movement towards with your heart you know your body mind and soul kind of thing you got to be now in the moment where you're deciding yes here let's put this with the crystals over here okay and look at that this little stone again if if anybody knows what this little guy is I'm not I'm not too familiar with orange stones except for citrine and that's really kind of like a yellow orange I'm not sure. I, I mean, it could be just, I don't know. I put it in, I put it in, I put it in the, with the fortune. So there must be something about it, but okay. So I've heard a few little, those, that little engine you hear is, um, I don't want to search for it because now I'm going through this little tiki bag here or this little dolphin bag, but, um, they're, it's like they're one man little deals that they do. Okay, hold on. I've got like I'm I'm ah oh, I have two. They're solid in my hand. But these read so long. I I just would prefer one. Open channel. Wow. Now I have to say that just yesterday, uh, the green man's doorway was the card that came through through the fairy oracle. And, uh, and most definitely, it was about opening those galactic and Gaia portals, uh, zoning in on all of them. This now, March 21st, is one for us here uh, in the Northern Hemisphere uh, and Southern Hemisphere is, uh, is in September, but this is when, you know, the spring is here for us. So prepare for, this is just, you know, within the few days. We have now the dolphin saying open channel. So we definitely got to read. Oopie. We got to read that. And then it says, caution, nets ahead. Okay, so look, they're saying right here, you know, okay, we've got an open channel. But just like, uh, you know, the poor uh, dolphins of Taiji, you know, they're out in the open sea. But yet, there's always you know, some dark force to make money or whatever they do, or just even some, just for the, for the heck of it, doing heinous crimes, but that's why we have to always be aware or beware, okay? All right, well, I think that that's sort of like a important kind of message from the dolphins, because obviously, um, if anybody or if any creature or, you know, animals that we are very familiar with and these are these are mystic I mean these cosmic <coughs> I'm joking up because you know how much I love my dolphins people I mean you can do telepathy it's, it's just they're just from the cosmic realm so this is important because this happens to them and that's why <coughs> I, 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 I don't try to talk about too much you know darkness all the time but it's it's real and we have to now pay attention okay but let's see what the first one reads is open channel so let's see 
Okay, let's let's give us some tiki light here. And that's what we're going to do, right? That white light, bright light all around us protects us both day and night. Okay, let me see. Open channel, open channel. Uh, and um, if any intelligence via the creatures, uh, we have them with the dolphins, no doubt about it. Okay, open channel. Let's see, let me... Let's see, can we, well, you saw, we saw that. Let's leave the, the fire action going here. I can't move it from, from this position because it almost went out, but let's just put the little cards there, okay? And let's put our wish will be granted, okay? So, now it reads, let me position my hand. This phone is, it's a, I keep saying iPhone. This is a new Nexus 6, by the way, and I'm really liking it because it's all, you know, channels in with Google, and it's all a Google phone, actually, YouTube and all that jazz, but, okay, so let us read about, well, the first one came through was open channel, and then caution nets ahead, okay, open channel, open, receptive, clear, and sensitive, I'm sorry, people, I'm just trying to position myself here, there you go, and, and, an obstructed path or waterway, a green light to move ahead into the next progression. The situation is right for being able to move forward at this time. A window of opportunity, a clear window of good weather conditions in seasons of fog, blizzards, heavy rains, and high winds. Being receptive to intuitive guidance. There's that intuitive word again, and you know, with the dolphins, no doubt about it, it's all about intuition with them, or you know, that that inner, that telepathy, that telepathy. It's it's all inner. We're all one, kind of open channeling mind. Okay, being receptive to intuitive guidance, allowing ourselves to open as a conduit for healing, guidance, divine love, and protection. A hollow reed, a hollow reed, R-E-E-D, a hollow reed for spirit, the possibility of reaching oracular guidance. See, because you go into that unknown zone, and if you want to think of the trying to connect with dolphins, that kind of, you know, it's, it's that kind of, you know, shutting down and trying to tap that, tap the energies, you know, like harness the energies, okay? Okay. This one's not too long, so let's read this because this is important. I can tell, and I'm I'm grateful for it. Really, you know, my little tiki boys—they're cute and with great, great messages. But these dolphins, um, like I said, I I don't think I've ever pulled them out before, but I think they're it's a good combo with the little um, Chinese fortunes. The open channel. When we clear ourselves, relax, and meditate, we open up a channel for wisdom clarity and skillful means telepathy occurs telepathy occurs when our channels are open it is the sensitive receptor and the giver of clear fearless truths compassion and healing open channel means the channel is open and ready to receive or transmit there are no blockages Masters and all high spiritual beings have an internal open channel out of which radiates a vast blessing field of light, radiance, and love. When there are two, T-W-O, when there are two, open channel can mean a state of openness in the communication of both people. The third party is the spiritual energy exchange. Okay, and I believe in this because I shared with you my blue and gold macaw, Max, uh, no doubt, telepathic communication. There, there was just something he knew. I just, that's why, and the dolphins too. I was grateful to work at the Clearwater Marine Center, and even when the little uh, winter dolphin was a baby, like you just, you know, me being, tapping that, I wanted to tap that. It, it happens, people. Uh, this is... This is real, okay? It's the spiritual energy exchange which freely flows into and through them, mixing and balancing their energy. 
Hindu adepts or teachers sometimes teach a sacred form of love making, the Tantra, to married couples who they feel are spiritually qualified. Through specific methods in honoring the sacred in each other, the couple may gradually open their inner channels. This inner central channel, called by some our inner flute, connects and conducts the inner flow of spiritual energy through the seven major energy centers, chakras of the body. Okay. An open channel can be a person who communes with both this physical world and the spiritual world beyond the veil on a higher dimensional frequency. This person can receive genuine guidance and often has healing, telepathic, and precognitive gifts. Some tribal indigenous healers say, it is not me doing the healing, it is the creator's energy coming through me. I am just a hollow reed, R-E-E-D. I am just a hollow reed. In Tibet, the state oracle would enter a trance state. <clears throat> the spirit of a Tibetan deity would enter his body and deliver divine messages and guidance to the Dalai Lama and his governmental ministers. The head ornament worn by the oracle was so heavy that it could break the neck of an ordinary man. But while embodied by the deity, the oracle was imbued with superhuman power and could easily support this heavy hat. St. Francis of Assisi in 13th century Italy said, Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Through his prayer, he is asking to be a channel, open and clear, to allow peace to flow through him for the blessings of others. We've all had times when we felt open and clear and then delivered a clear message to someone. We may have wondered, where did that come from, or who said that? It didn't seem like us, as it was so luminous and clear. Did an angel or guide use our voice as a mouthpiece, or was it our higher self? These are the beautiful, inspiring moments when we manifest as an quote-unquote open channel. We can sit in meditation and be so deeply relaxed that we release all tension. We may then feel the entry or awakening of a warm, peaceful feeling that flows through our body. It fills and comforts every part of us, as well as the space around us. Our life force, or chi, is circulating freely through our body and in the energy fields that surround our body. This always feels good as it relaxes us and opens our heart. When we are in this receptive open channel state, we are open to receive an infusion of divine love, clarity, and insight. In this inspired state, we feel as if we taste the nectar of the gods and receive sentient glimpses, glimpses into the loving radiance of enlightened awareness. Dolphins, as open channels, may peek through that P-E-E-K, may peek through that radiant doorway too, as they swim the earth's waterways, spreading their playful joy. And isn't that kind of cool that we have this word doorway, just, we, just as we did yesterday with the green man's doorway to the galactic portals. So let's read this sentence. It's a new paragraph, the closing paragraph. Dolphins as open channels may peek through that radiant doorway too as they swim the earth's waterways, spreading their playful joy. Dolphins also need open channels to survive predators and fishing nets. If there is a clear, safe passageway in the ocean, they may say in their clicks and high-pitched voices, All systems are go. The way is clear, and we can pass safely through the open channel. Okay, so that's why, you know, you have to, you know, dolphins need open channels to survive predators and fishing nets. Okay, so let's see how, isn't this curious how, now, I just, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, brought it, I'm just so, like, I'm even my, myself, my being, is like, wow, how curious is that, that now we want to read the caution nets ahead, because, you know, the devil's always in the detail, people, and especially the more light you carry, the more 
phantom forces start coming near you to mess with you okay and I'm an example of how I had you know thugs come to my you know Orisha Florida water video I, I'm still you know I chat about it because that's what's really going on you know people don't even know you're coming for you because you're talking about deep spiritual love and uh, they don't like it because that's that gives us power over them see see because the, the the demons can demand all they want but we command them okay we command them no matter what they demand of us something about when you're working with one hand okay here we go oh it is short and sweet too okay and we still got a little fire here yeah we got the fire so we got to show the fire okay hold on let me let me kind of move my chair a little bit so we can read this okay and then we still got that wish coming for us let's watch the fire caution nets ahead to be alert and pay attention card no it says the be alert and pay attention card okay people so, okay says here come on size up here claim it be alert and pay attention getting guidance ahead of time watching signs and symbols trouble coming stop look and observe avoiding being trapped by others people's agendas by learning to read the energy of a situation watching your energy being focused and centered receiving proper guidance and then taking the right direction or action this is not necessarily a negative card but a warning to be alert and avoid trouble fool rush in where dolphins fear to tread well there we go it's in quotes fools rush in where dolphins fear to tread and if anybody knows what you know the dolphin uh, they know when there's harm coming they know when there's predators out there they're just they know from miles away okay so uh, and we've always shared you know the phrase be aware or beware okay so but this is not a negative card this is just a card to say you know pay attention to what can be coming okay just be aware because there's so much good coming with wishes granted but again that's when the negative wants to come and you know by jealousy or, or just evilness want to take it away but we can get around that that's life okay like I said you know they they can demand but we command our lives okay this is the pay attention card whenever danger lurks ahead or even a minor annoying entanglement we are often warned ahead of time by our inner guidance trouble may be coming but instead of swimming into the nets we can swim around them because we've been cautioned ahead of time this is why it is so important to take the time to listen quietly every day for the wee small voice inside to give us counsel okay my friends this is what the dolphins are saying every day this is why it is so important to take the time to listen quietly every day for the wee little small voice inside us to give us counsel it may be it may only be a very subtle nudge when we take that quiet time to listen it is also a chance for us to center and ground ourselves to get vertical earth below sky above rather than horizontal now that's pretty cool to get vertical earth below sky above and we talk about that you know many readers do get grounded go barefoot and now we keep talking about you know here look above to the sky look above to the sun you know when when you walk outdoors or even in your house whenever you're walking pay attention to where the sky uh, the sun is in the sky okay okay just like when you're watching you're gazing loon at night for the full moon or her quarters or whatever and you know you're going to be looking up for her so from now during the day look up to where the sun is okay and, and and take gratitude okay 
This is why it is so important to take time to listen quietly. It may only be a very subtle nudge. When we take that quiet time to listen, it is also a chance for us to center and ground ourselves, to get vertical, earth below, sky above, rather than horizontal. Our horizontal self can be the scattered, off-center version of ourselves, which can be too hooked by other people's problems and dramas. Wow, there you go. Well said. Um, when we are energetically aligned to vertically, we are much more centered and grounded. This vertical state enables our intuitive antennae to reach out farther and pick up correct guidance. And here it, she wrote intuitive antennae in a, in a, you know, uh, uh, italic or not. What am I trying to say, people? You know, in a different font to reach out farther and pick up correct guidance and direction. If we stay horizontal, stretching out in all directions, corded into many other people, we tend to become diffuse, spread out, and overly emotional. We also become an easier target for others to tip over. There you go. None of us want to wobble on our own inner axis and be too vulnerable in a world that is still too harsh. And that's right, people. This is not a gentle planet. But you know what? We can heal the phantom forces. I believe this. I do. Dolphins, who once had only sharks as predators, now have the added danger of insensitive and mercenary tuna nets, which continue to ensnare and kill many dolphins each year. They have humans as predators in a number of other ways, too. In some cultures, the people are depleting their local dolphin population for food. Then there is the controversy between those who want to take all captive dolphins and liberate them versus those who want to keep them for entertainment uh, value for marine mammal shows. Another caution the dolphins have about humans is their endless toxic contamination of the dolphins' home, the oceans of the earth. If there is a net ahead or some kind of trap or pitfall, it is not necessarily a negative thing. The point is that we are warned or cautioned ahead of time. Then we may choose to swim around, over and under it, and avoid the problem altogether. But these cautions get through to us better if we spend some quiet time each day to listen to our intuition. Okay? Spend some quiet time each day to listen to our intuition. All right, my dears. And then maybe if we take, if we start practicing that within the year, your wish will be granted. How about that? <laughs> you know, people, these Chinese fortunes, they do come through. And we got the tiki gods speaking them out loud. <laughs> well, thank you, Dolphin Divination Cards by Nancy Clements. Uh, what a what a very, very uh, kind of like forceful reading today, but it's, it's, they want us to be aware. That's all. It's, it's not to fear. We're fierce and fearless like dolphins. We just want to play and have fun. But when it comes down to it, you know, you have to always watch your back, people. Okay? Just watch your back. All right. Enjoy a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Ciao.